the matter with you? We're janitors. Well, what do you expect? We lost the car in Montecito. Montequinto. This is right. Along with my burritos. What's that? Emergency. Uh, remember what the protocols say. Is that Black Widow? Curse you, Black Widow! I'll never replace my burritos now! His call signs Taskmaster. He controls the Red Room. They're manipulated. Fully conscious, but no choices. I should have come back for you. How many others are there? Enough. Look, I'm 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 gonna come out and say it. I'm gonna come out and say it. I'm gonna come out and say it. Just just let it just let it roll off my back, and just get it out the way. This is a good movie. It didn't deserve. I didn't have. I I didn't deserve. It didn't deserve to wait. It didn't. It didn't. It no. It wasn't. Was it worth pushing back over a year? No, not at all. <laughs> no, not even a little bit. Honestly, I honestly feel that this should have came. This is this is a phase two movie that we waited till after phase three to see. I thought we were in phase four. That's what I said. After oh, three. See, gotcha. the numbers go <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> see, you try to get me. I, I, I know my numbers now. I don't know nothing else, <laughs> but I know my damn numbers. Um, but no, I really did enjoy this movie. I've always said uh, in my trek through the Marvel Universe and the comics is that Black Widow and Hawkeye are some of two of the most characters that I'm like are awesome when they're with the Avengers but they really gets no love when it comes to single trades and now I'm starting to feel like the same is being repeated for the movies because this is a heartfelt heartful film in the Marvel Universe like, I don't think I've felt since like Ant-Man, you know, and his like story of family and trying to, uh, you know, Scotland. reconnect with his daughter and actually become legitimate for her sake. Have I felt something so like right here in the field bads, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think? <clears throat> I'm just going to say it now. Florence Pugh, man, she fucking... Why, why do you do this? Why with you the, do the, with the, with the po pose. <laughs> you pose. You like to pose. No, Faye, I love the payoff of that, of her coming through the vent and just like, yeah. she, she did it. That's that's, a, I oh, feel oh, disgusting. I, feel, I need to shower. Like, that, was, <laughs> that was so great. I. Florence Pugh made me love this movie. Okay. Like, I like this movie, but Florence mm -hmm. Pugh made me love this movie because of just her. Just. Uh, just taking shots at Black Widow for doing shit, not say fuck me, right? You know, you joined mm -hmm. the Avengers, fuck us, right? You didn't come back to save me, you didn't Ford come back to save for everyone real? else. Like I could definitely mm -hmm. hop on that train because Floyd Pugh had like the whole emotional gambit through this film. Mm -hmm. Like she, like one, she could choose scenery with the best of them, yeah. right? But then she, like, out of everybody in this film, you know, due to character, you know, how everybody's character was. Um, she was able to just like take it to like a mad dramatic point. Mm -hmm. Like when she cried, I was crying. I was like, "Oh, why well, y'all hurt my baby yelling them right there?" Like, I'm over here like, right? man, I need a couple of decades worth of training. Then I'm gonna come through with all y'all for Florence <laughs> for, for <what>? yelling her. <laughs> yeah, but no, like she really did. Like she really did bring out yeah. her a game on this one. It, oh, man, I really liked her and uh, David Harbour's Red Guardian Alexi. That dude was pretty good. Didn't know he was supposed to be a super soldier or anything, so mm -hmm. that was a surprise to me. Yeah. So like he's like, oh yeah, I'm the only super soldier, and, and then he has his whole Captain America story that comes back in the end. <laughs> I liked that. Uh, did, did did he talk about me? <laughs> what did he say about me? <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I would call it like a rivalry. But <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that. It's good. It was good. Like you said, it had a lot of heart in it. And then he's like in the jail cell, like crying his heart mm -hmm. out to uh, freaking Natasha. And then it's like, I, I just, uh, do I have a comm link? And, just, <laughs> and then he starts repeating no. it again. It's like, <laughs> that was not a part you. of you the plan. You don't have a comm link. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. I was just like, 
He's just like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? He it's was just for real, like the Homer Simpson version of a superhero. <laughs> and I like that. I like how they played that. Um, uh, aside, uh, like them aside, uh, the Taskmaster thing was cool. Mm-hmm. I feel like, uh, she didn't really get a lot of attention. I mean, for story reasons, it makes sense. Um, I just would have, I would have just liked more and I hope mm-hmm. we get, I hope that that, that character's not retired now. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing that I really want to, is I hope that Taskmaster isn't just done now. So like, she got a lot of really cool scenes. Like yeah. a lot of really cool scenes like that. I think like the, on the action side, they played that to perfection. And then when it, it, it does, it, that big reveal is revealed, like it does make sense mm-hmm. why, you know, the internet has been in an uproar about it. I know mm-hmm. the first thing is I knew that would happen mm-hmm. as soon as I saw the suit and like the little visual effects of it, like reading things on need like watching the Avengers do stuff. I'm like, people are already going to be pissed. That is not taskmaster knowing, like actually doing it themselves. They're using mm-hmm. a, They're using bio enhancements or using technology for it. people. Ain't going to be happy about that. Oh, taskmasters a woman. Niggas is mad about that. But am I right? Or am I wrong? You're, you're, I'm not gonna say there aren't those because you know there are. I know. You know but there I'm are. I'm just saying. What is but the most no, that you've the most, seen about the it? The most that I've seen is when I've been going back and looking at uh, clips of Taskmaster and other media and stuff like that. And most prominently, because he's not that like known ca- of a character, mm-hmm. but he he has been getting some shine lately, mm-hmm. uh, specifically in Ultimate Spider-Man, the cartoon that came after R.I.P. The best spectacular Spider-Man. Spectacular. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Not a fan. Oh. <clears throat> man up, man up. Um, but also in uh, Avengers Assemble, which is, I guess, a part of that shared universe Disney had for a bit with their animated stuff. Both voiced by Clancy Brown. Um, if you don't know, he's voiced so many characters. Like, if I, if I played a clip, you'd, you'd understand. You'd be mm-hmm. like, oh, that's that guy. So I'll have to do that later. Remind me about that. But he really did play Taskmaster. Because Taskmaster in the comics is a mercenary for hire. And he's kind of just out for himself. You know, so he's kind of tongue-in-cheek. He'll, he's ma- he's mainly a bad guy, but sometimes he'll do stuff with the good guys. So like Deadpool? No, not at all like Deadpool. Because Deadpool, the main difference, Deadpool will break the fourth wall. Deadpool can live forever. Deadpool is... Tongue in cheek, more of a good guy than a bad guy. Although he did start out as a villain, more of a good guy than a bad guy. Whereas Taskmaster is more a bad guy. Okay. Deadpool won't stab you in the back, maybe. <laughs> Taskmaster <laughs> will stab you in the back. Maybe. Got it. It's a very. It's, they are. They all like. They, they walk the line. They absolutely Money. are on opposite sides of the spectrum. It's almost like they're mirror of each other. Yes. Okay. But he's also like he's not. He's not like Deadpool. Is like Bugs Bunny, but he is tongue in cheek though. You know, like yeah. he he's kind of like the audience eyes for certain situations when it comes to like Avengers, uh, the comic book, and and stuff like that. And I think that's the biggest argument that people have with this Taskmaster. Is it's almost like the damn you. I wish you never said that because I'm now I'm throw, now now everything I said is actually gonna be like a comparison to Deadpool because it's almost like the same argument of from X-Men Origins Wolverine when they sewed Deadpool's mouth shut. It's like, oh, you what? <laughs> this great character that we love all of a sudden. <laughs> it's like, oh, and you <laughs> ruined him. You ruined him. <laughs> and I was just like, yo, Taskmaster was cool, but y'all know he like D-tier, right? <laughs> also, he's another dude with a skull mask. Like, I'm glad they made the design changes that they did, mm-hmm. you know, because it was it, honestly between Red Skull, Crossbones, uh, and of a whole bunch of others that I'm just not going to sit here and name because I will be here for two days straight. Yeah. Um. You really you didn't need to do the same thing again. You know. Um. Plus, we we the Marvel universe is is in and of itself bereft with tongue in cheek characters. So you really, honestly, I wasn't missing out on that personality a lot. They could bring it back if they do decide to bring the character back, which, like you, I hope they do. Yeah. Um. But that's just, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, that's the news from the nerds. <laughs> okay. I can understand that. I can understand that. Yeah. Changing your character so much, it doesn't feel like your character anymore. I can, I can feel that. Yeah. But like. 
Your old character's still there, though. Yeah, they but. are. And honestly, with every other adaptation that I've looked <clears> at for uh, Taskmaster's character, it'd be that character again. Yeah. You know? A little tired. A little, a little tired. Like, all yeah. of these, all the Avengers, I could say, played differently than their different attributes. Like, if you look at Tony Stark in the comics, Tony Stark on the comics and RDJ t- Tony Stark are very different characters. Okay. As much as they have similarities, they're very different. Like... Tony Stark in the comics, mad alcoholic, heavy capitalist, at, definitely towards the beginning, which, you know, R.E.J. Tony Stark was too, but mm-hmm. does it change. But it, it, he kind of... Didn't phase out in one movie. Yeah, he, right. Um, Captain America is more... He's more what you think Captain America is, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? In the comics, and less like... I almost forgot his name. Chris Evans, Captain America. <laughs> like Chris Evans, Captain America is a little softer than uh, comics. Captain America. Like these, they're different. They're different, but they captured the embodiment of it. Mm-hmm. And I guess what people is like that this Taskmaster doesn't. I guess is their argument. Yeah. Oh, uh, what about you, Sharon? So my biggest thing is I'm used to seeing Black Widow wearing all black, mm-hmm. and she wore. A- Nothing but white, pretty much, except until she towards the end when she got the vest. Mm-hmm. Is that like a nod to the comics? Because yes. I feel like it is. Okay, because they in the comics, uh, Natasha is the Black Widow, and Yelena is the White Widow. Oh. They kind of they play with that a little bit in the comics too. But in the comics, Yelena took over for Black uh, for Natasha when she died in the comics. So you know what I'm Holy hoping crap. to see here. Yes, I want to see her interact with the Avengers. In fact, that's Yelena, what I want to see. And in, in another, oh God, this podcast is going to be me talking about the comics for like two hours. <laughs> really, really shouldn't be <laughs> But, that Marvel. Uh, yeah, right. We should, we should literally <laughs> just say the name to the Marvel po- Comics podcast. Um, <laughs> but, in the comics recently, because uh, obviously we have to do this because it's coming out with the movies, uh, Yelena's been dead for like the longest time. In fact, the last story that I read, the last uh, trade I read was a Hawkeye Winter Soldier trade and it was about finding Natasha after she died in Secret Empire and it turns out that there's been clones of Natasha being made by the Red Room. It's another Red Room story and not just her but other active Red Room or successful Red Room members so like Yelena and some other people that Natasha has faced off of in the past but she killed off the clone and then I was looking at a sneak peek of an issue of uh, Black Widow of another Black Widow comic and it turns out Yelena's still alive Along with some other characters that I thought were like mad dead. I'm like, oh, well, can't wait to catch up to that because, you know, movies. So how they bring her back from absolute death. Because in the last <laughs> call, it was like, no, she's dead. She's dead. Bang, she's dead. See, she's dead. Ain't no way she come back. We burn all the body. Dang, bang, bang, bang. Dead. So, like, you know, for movie sake, back come, alive. Her, comes out of the shadow. <laughs> Just real slow. You thought I was gone. I am Hard back. Hard shadow, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I really loved this movie. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was really good. I will also not lie to you. I am not fully up to date on the MCU. For that, I apologize. We go through this every like, time. We really do. Kid. I mean, you don't really need to be. Absolutely don't. Because okay. like Trey said earlier, this movie feels like it's a whole phase of movies earlier than it should be. Like you could literally take out. So have you have you caught up as far as like Winter Soldier? Yes. So you really could, and this is why I say this is a phase. This could be a phase two movie. You could really take out the Sokovia cores that she's running from and switch it with her spreading out the secrets of Hydra and Shield, and have her being run away. That because at the end of Winter Soldier, she's at the gravesite with them and is like, "Yo, I'm going to do some Black Widow shit." And literally, you could be like, "This is the movie where she's doing Black Widow stuff." This it is the literally shit. makes sense. The only thing that doesn't like fit into it being a phase two movie is the after credits. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the after credits is the best part, but you know what you could have done? You know what you could have done, Disney? Give Black Widow another movie. I don't know. I don't know. That would have been a thing. Well, hey, that's just me saying, please continue to share. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I mean, mm, what's the word? Cinematography. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the word. <laughs> 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 sorry y'all it's late i'm tired like, i've been moving out of an apartment the cinematography for this movie i think was so spectacularly well done especially in the scenes 
of the thing of the like, red room coming down. Mm-hmm. I'm just mind blown at how incredible those scenes were. And I know I shouldn't be because it's Disney and it's Marvel and da 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 da. It still gets me with how good the shots were. Don't apologize for that. If it still it's gets good, you and it works good. for you, then it worked. Yeah, that's your resonate. It was awesome. <laughs> All that, let haters be your motivators. Yeah, I love that stuff. <laughs> Freaking debris fun. I like debris. Like, it was just so good. <laughs> Don't know why I hung up on debris, but yeah. Like, Natasha just like going, oh, oh, she's falling. Oh, shit. Me too. You know, let me <laughs> save my sister. You know, let me like fly down with this parachute and stick it to her and like. Make it parachute. Like, good. <laughs> I remember watching it and I wanted to go back. I wanted to rewind it so bad, mm-hmm. but I was watching it with Shakis and I thought he would hit me. So I didn't. <laughs> wow. Wow. I know you don't like to pause a lot in movies. No, that's not what you're saying. It's like, no, I don't think you would actually hit me. No. I, we have literally gone back. We watched Fear Street and we went back. I'm over this, man. No more tank tops for me. Ain't what are they also called? Shakees. No, nah, it's like the black suit in Spider-Man 3, bro. I keep them shits off me. <laughs> I'm putting them shit to the shelf and never picking it back up. Now I just want Shakees dancing down Main Street. <laughs> Can't this believe movie, this. This is very well done. Spectacular. Scarlett Johansson. Mm-hmm. Did I say that right? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just call it Janona. <laughs> <laughs> and Florence did phenomenally well. Mm. Like, if we could, I'd love to have another movie of them, like, in their younger days. Yes. Training as widows, even. Like, fuck it. Let me see them being trained as widows. I'll watch two hours of them just going through fight drills. Why the hell not? Well, see, but you wouldn't get them together, though. Because they were separated. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. you wouldn't get them together. Maybe there's like this cool story of like the one time Natasha broke free and she went to go visit her sister. I don't know. But that, that's she would have been impetus. ballsy enough to do it. That's the like, whole impetus of this one is that she never did. You know? She yeah. felt yelling a film. Okay, forgotten. she could have tried and then she got caught. So let, instead of let's just instead say of doing like prequel stuff where it where it don't make sense because the movie tells us it doesn't. Let's get another sequel or something after this story where yell, he she helps out yelling, uh, you know, with the displaced widows. Yeah. Tracking them down or, yeah. you know, the Red Room there in the go. comics always comes back, even though Natasha always destroyed. There's always a Red Room story. I killed so this can, guy. He's dead. I killed the boss of the Red Room. Okay. I'm the boss of the Red Room. I'm still here. Um, or there's like a new boss. You know what I mean? There's always somebody mm-hmm. else to take the place and something like that. So that easily, easily could just like bring them back and be like, hey, you know, we want our widows back. And then Natasha has to go help her sister out again. You know, like, it's yeah, because we're talking about the span between Civil War and Endgame. That's a lot of time. A lot of freaking time, you know, or we could see like, were they displaced by the blip? You know? That could be a thing. So like she could have helped her track down um uh 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 Clint while he was in his Ronin phase, you know, his golf phase. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't give me hope. <laughs> 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 like so like there's there's plenty of story opportunities where they could come afterwards and they could they literally could have made this and then made a phase three. Mm-hmm you know, Black Widow. There, there was literally nothing stopping him from doing that. That's one of my biggest disappointments and gripes about this movie is that there were, it had no, because it was like, it, it, Kevin Feige, back in the day, was like, people don't want a Black Widow movie or or people ain't ready for a Black Widow movie. Wait till we get to these Rotten Tomatoes. Were people, we ready. Were people ready for an Ant-Man movie? Were Oof. people ready for two Ant-Man <laughs> movies? For two Ant-Man movies? We got two Ant-Man movies before before an Avenger got one. Damn. Even more than that. Were people ready for the Guardians of the Galaxy? No. I'm just going to say. We got a talking raccoon and and a a tree. tree. (laughs) We got got two of those. All right. Like, they for real just went. No, this one. This one's more plausible. Not the one that we've shown in, like, two or three movies already. Not the one that's a literal Avenger. No, no, no. Talking tree raccoon. That's that's it. 
License to print money. Shit, a fucking a, a TV show or something like something. It's nothing. Well, no, 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 no. I wouldn't hope for that. I wouldn't hope Mm-mm. TV show. I wouldn't hope TV show because they because like uh, back in the back in the times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back in that time, yeah, like yeah, we, we get, no, we, we need to wait. We need to wait. We get a, a two movies too long TV show. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we get we get Asians of Shield, but with Scarlett Johansson. Nah, I'm oh good. no, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good on that. But no, so like, Oh no. I, 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 I don't know what else. Like, cause I've got it in my brain. I'm hung up on on the placement and the waiting because I had to wait. I, y'all know. Y'all know me. I don't like to wait. This movie is mistimed in every way you can think of. <laughs> yeah. It just it came at the wrong time. And then they decided to, instead of giving it to people, to make motherfuckers wait over a year for it. Mm-hmm. It ain't that good. It ain't it ain't in game worthy of waiting. But the thing, the reason why I'll tell you why they put it out when they did. I'll tell you why they put it out when they did. This was supposed to come out before Falcon Winter Soldier. Mm-hmm. Because of that uh the end credit scene. That was supposed to be the first time we see Valerie and this whole rise of the what I'm guessing might be the Serpent Society, Hydra, whatever form she's taking in, in this movie. Um so they had they were like for story because like I said, I think I said in the chat, uh, this is these are the three storylines that we're following in this phase. Mm-hmm. Rise of Valerie, Multiverse of Madness, and Time Shit. <laughs> and Time Shit. <laughs> and Time Shit. Like this is the three. So they had to push this movie out because it's one of their big three. Mm-hmm. Uh prequel prequel to the storyline, let's say. Yeah, the storyline you know I mean? isn't even ready to start yet. Right. This is the we're we're breathing in the English. This is the next ten years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like I can see that. So they had they were they were pressured. It's like yo, do we we can't keep pushing this thing back. So that's why we got this on Disney Premier Access when we did. Mm-hmm. You know, and again, I'd say not worth the wait. Mm-hmm. But but I see where how like how it happened. Mm-hmm. You know. And I'm interested in where, and now, now I'm thinking where else could we see Valerie come up? Because my next thought, my next thought, this is my theory now, Shang-Chi. Yeah, I was just about mm-hmm. to say, I don't know anything about Shang-Chi, but I don't see her popping up with Spider-Man. Well, mostly because if you look, if you remember from the trailer that I showed you, we got Abomination in there. And Abomination, the, the, them reintroducing Abomination into the MCU, especially in his comic book accurate form. It's giving me heavy thunderbolts, <laughs> giving me heavy thunderbolts. So we got right now, fake Cap, fake Black Widow, fake Hulk. Thunderbolts is coming. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> thunderbolts is coming. Now I'm a little disappointed because it means we're probably not getting Red Hulk. I want a Red Hulk. Red Hulk will be badass. Although, see here, is it? What, how long? It's we possible. In? How long we in? It's possible, but it's not. She Hulk. She Hulk okay. show coming out, so that could that could be could show you something. Could show me something. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you hoping theories don't. is out Tra- there. Trace sitting over here like, don't give me hope because I got a lot. <laughs> I got theories. Don't I give got me hope. Theories, bro. Don't give me hope. So no, like that's that's but yeah, that's that's neither here nor there. That's that's talking about every movie but Black Widow. Um, but I mean, I, I got really nothing else to say here. I'm I'm really just, I'm really sad that we're not gonna get another Black Widow movie unless we get like a Yelena lead movie which honestly would be cool in and of mm-hmm. itself because after watching Flores Poo in this movie yes. I would definitely watch her lead another Black Widow movie of some yes. kind yes. definitely or a White Widow movie of some kind whatever color of Widow <laughs> a Widow movie. a Widow movie call it Widow not Widows because it's already one of those but, so, but Widow singular there we go it yeah. works yeah after whatever missing unless she kills clint like doesn't kill clint now it's huh you and my sister used to work together i wanted to kill you but for reasons i found out i shouldn't let's talk let's let's go on a mission together okay i think that would be interesting so another here we go more theories <laughs> more theories right he but, just said in thought because like you you gave me that thought like she's going after clint now like that's her like story that's uh valentine Val- valentina's whole like reel to get her into the thunderbolts right what if one what if this is leading to a thunderbolts versus avengers movie because you're gonna have uh even though they kind of like reconcile you're probably gonna have um john versus sam mm-hmm. sometime again you know 
Abomination ready to scrap on on hey, on God every oh, time God. It, it, on the streets. He's like ready for it to see when he see Hulk. And then we got Smart Hulk now. Then we got Smart Hulk now. You know, um, but then like, or will Yelena show up in the Hawkeye show that's gonna come out on Disney Plus too? Like, there's so like this is what I love, man. There's so many opportunities for these stories that weave and inter like interact with each other, and they're actually working it now. Like this actually works so well now better than it has been in the past like phase four about to hit so hard phase four and phase five like it's about people like Shit. yeah i've been hit man i'm starting to get a little tired nah y'all about to get back up into it y'all about to get back <laughs> you're gonna be tired until you get your butt in that seat mm-hmm. turn on that tv so like i i'm gonna give this i'm gonna get us a mad b for black widow i am i'm gonna get this a mad b mostly because it's just the timing it got me a little lukewarm but I still think this is a great entry into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I think it's a great first Black Widow movie. Honestly, not much I can say else here. Which one of y'all want to give y'all? I'll go ahead because I got a little bit of extra things I want to talk about. <laughs> I want to so talk. You go last. You, 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 you give you your, we'll give you your you time know, on the podium. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> right, go ahead. I think this movie is a strong A minus mm-hmm. in the grand scheme. Like, I love the fight scenes. Like the stunt choreography is just snaps and applause all mm-hmm. the way around. Like phenomenal as always for and what we anticipate for a Marvel cinematic movie. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, speaking of the stunt choreography, yeah. um, one of the things that I uh, that honestly got like picked up in my brain mostly because of Black Widow, she always does that legs around the head, yeah, flippy thing that all women apparently do in all action movies. Apparently, that's a thing. And I was like, huh, it's funny that they had Taskmaster do it because he's obviously a dude, right? And he did the thing. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh, no, he's a woman. All women do the leg around the head flippy thing. Like, that's, it just, it, it, it was, that was, that tickled me a little bit. It's a choice. In a sexist move. way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but please continue. Just from the stunts to the costumes to the sequences to the cinematography, it's just so good. But like you said, like the weight and currently the inability, the fact that we're not getting another Natasha led type widow movie Mm -hmm. is really disheartening to me because I feel like since we waited so long, there should be something else. Yeah. Regardless of how big or small that something else is, there should be something else. Mm -hmm. A Disney plus series or something. Yeah. Like, come on, please. (laughs) <laughs> just please <laughs> and that's all I got okay you may step up to the podium Mr. Moore <laughs> <clears throat> so how enhanced are the widows are they just regular humans that are just very well trained regular humans well trained and apparently in this one in this breed mind control okay okay that's what I thought you see that's what I thought in this movie when we were watching it. These motherfuckers are human fucking uh, crash test dummies through this movie. Mm -hmm. How you bouncing off buildings, uh, uh, fucking steel grates and shit, and just getting up. They secretly whisper parkour as they do the things. (laughs) (laughs) Like gives them flight. I noticed it throughout, and then it was when you uh, you said you made the comment when uh, the red room was falling down. And you're like, and she's going to be in the one place where nothing falls down or hits her or anything. And I was like, yes, of course she is. She's lucky because plot armor. <laughs> but then, like, <laughs> Natasha and Taskmaster are fighting in midair as they're falling all the way to the ground. And she pulls the damn... Um, not airbag. Jesus parachute. Christ. Parachute. parachute. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is Call it late. The sky bag. The sky the bag. Sky bag. Yes. Um and it's just fast paced movie That tickled you didn't. It was like oh, damn, I'm gonna get him with this one. <laughs> sky, I'm sorry. I just, I look on, she's, just, she's still like, damn, that was great. <laughs> Write it down in the damn note. All right. Next time I'm gonna say ground bag. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Hit over there. Oh, wow. All right. Please. I'm sorry. It's, and I know it's just like the fast paced editing, but it's like, 
you didn't have enough time to like get a good enough landing after going. You know, you're free falling after mm. a certain point. So it's like, mm, I don't believe that. But it's an action movie, so it's like I have to believe that because action movies do more ridiculous things. Honestly, Plus, movie, movie, time. No, I get, I yeah. get it, I yeah. get it. It's just like I'm sitting here, like, bruh. You should be fucking dead. Like, I'm just thinking the whole time, like, you really should be dead. Mm-hmm. There's just no way. Like, when uh, that first widow, she's like, uh, uh, she's like, I don't want, he's making me do this. And she she blasts herself in the head with the fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Like, right, be- like, right before that, that building fall should have killed her. There's no fucking way unless her suit is made of some fucking star- Stark tech. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Like... It isn't said in the movie, but it could be. It could it could be. Even though they were on opposite sides. Remember though, Stark got his tech stolen a lot. Mm-hmm. He did, he did. And she and was if like anybody's an gonna steal it, I mean, one of them. Room. Yeah. You know? Stark tech. Everybody gotta have that shit. So. All they gotta really so. do is steal one and then just copy it. True. This is true. They got scientists niggas making mind control reality like it ain't shit mm-hmm. so i mean i guess but that's just that just it just start it started to nag at me after a while i'm just sitting here like you cannot be surviving these hits like both of y'all romanov belova y'all should be fucking hit, taking this shit y'all ain't alexi y'all ain't super soldiers <laughs> god damn but that's all whatever uh uh fucking the movie my grade is i give it a mad c plus okay. this movie was good um but i won't really that hype for it anyway mm-hmm. and then having everything else kind of be pushed back for it not really feeling that so it was still good and i do think people will still enjoy it well let's think see you heard what we thought let's see what them people thinks with a budget of $200 million, has a box office of $224.8 million, which is good considering, I wonder how much of that is canceled, ca- counted, Jesus, with uh, Disney's premium. I always wonder this. Every time we look at the budget for I this, like- I always wonder what the percentage of that is uh, theater gross and premier access gross. I feel like some numbers were released for premier access. I think it did really well for premier access. Hmm. I f- don't quote me on this, but I think that number is wrong. Well, if it's wrong, they're probably just uh, counting, just, counting the just the theaters. Yeah, I think they might just be counting theaters on that. I feel like it was mad higher because we had a whole conversation about this, right? Was mm-hmm. it you and me, or was it me? And so- it was me and somebody because mm-hmm. I ain't talking to just myself. <laughs> yeah, <crazy>. Debatable. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's good numbers, and I know Disney's happy to see those numbers right there. Uh, and specifically, because once I said, once again, like I said in our Fast Night uh, talk, mm-hmm. they they're talk. ready. They're ready to get back in the theaters. Yeah, People are ready. ready to get back in theaters. Studios are ready to release stuff in theaters and get that money. The industry want that money. And back. Fast Nine made that shit like really, really shown to be profitable. Um, So, sixty million from Disney Plus uh, Premium Access, which Jesus pizzas, blueberry squeezes. <laughs> um, thank you, Sharon. You're welcome. Uh, so that right there proves That's that uh, Premium Access ain't going nowhere neither. Like this. Yeah. So like I was about to say, like man, Disney won't really support, won't, won't really feeling that Premier Access anyway. They were just doing that to just kind of squeeze some money out of people <laughs> and not just lose all revenue and just putting that shit up for like. I'm fucking on demand, some third party platforms or whatever. But I'm looking at that like maybe they ain't so mad mm-hmm. with it now. Like Raya and Mulan didn't do that great, but Black Widow did. Have you seen the premier access numbers for Raya and uh I know I'm just talking about like just the general just box office. Like, they they well, I mean look at the disparages high. between uh box office and uh premier access though. Like, you know, mm-hmm. triple digits here, double digits digits there. So mm-hmm. probably like they don't want to live off that. But this is good enough for them to like start do thinking about again. doing dual releases. Yeah. Like I'm not I don't I don't know. Definitely their smaller stuff, their smaller animated stuff will probably be more like more of the Lucas, the Rayas, and things of that nature. 
um, maybe even their live action uh, reboot properties, like their your Corella Two or something like that. Mm -hmm. This is more of a reason for them to keep wanting to push that Disney Premier Access, and again, mm -hmm. it bumps up subscribers to their Disney Plus system. Mm -hmm. You know, which for us the consumer is still like, oh, I got to pay for this subscription and also pay drop down X thirty dollars to see it. So it's like it it. it and it's almost like a a, a, a mousetrap to where it's like, hey, look, you can watch it at home for this $30 or take your butt to the theaters for $15 <laughs> and watch it there. I mean, either way, yay, get the money, baby. Like, y'all do what y'all want. You know what I mean? <laughs> so now they can get us both ways, yeah. you know? But we could do that thing that we did where we, I paid, we paid $6 for this movie. We did. And we split it. Right. But, like, everyone isn't going to do that, of course. Exactly. So, like, Plus, you have to have... Which, which Disney, can I talk to you for a second? Let me talk to you. Let me rap with you real, real quick for a second. <laughs> um, when you hit that group watch, yeah, can you make it more clear that <laughs> for your Disney Premier Access move, group watch ain't available, everybody got to pay for them? So, that's one the way they get you, too. Like, everybody got to have... Now, we circumnavigated that system by all using somebody's same account, but... <laughs> The fact that, you know, like one of the stipulations that somebody else has to have the Disney premiere and you can do the group watch. Now, for everything else, you can just do it off dick. But if it's somebody else and they don't have the login information, they also have to pay the 30 bucks in order to watch it with friends. Yeah. Oh, that's hell stupid. no. Yes. That's, what? that's how What's they the point do of the group watch if you can't. Whatever. So that's. Oof. Yeah. I'm stop. Disney, like, so it's crazy for that. Easy to get around if you're willing to share. But if you're not. Then yeah, it's kind of you're still having to pay that thirty dollars at home, God, you know, hundred fifty dollars. But again, there are ways to to get around it. You can bring people over, have a watch party, or you know, yeah. have a in home. Unless you charge at the door thirty dollars, like hey, <laughs> hey, you want to come see this degree? <laughs> you know what I mean? Put it in the Halloween bucket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I do think that's ridiculous. I, I really yeah. do. That, yeah. that that made me mad when I when we were telling like, wait, what? No, sh sh just do the things. She's like, I did things. Like, hmm. She told me the same. I was like, you mother... I wanted to fight Disney for real. I wanted to fight old, old Kevin Feige for a second. She wanted anyway, to fight Kevin Feige for that. Let's see. Oh, no, I'll fight that man. <laughs> <laughs> he calls this... Anyway, let's take it to the tomato meters. We got with a tomato meter of 81% and an audience score of 92%. That's crazy. Woo! Y'all feeling... <laughs> Y'all feeling it. Kevin... Was it time for a Black Widow movie? It was time for a Marvel movie. They was was like, it? Yeah, oh, well, we're, yeah. We're so tired. We're getting tired of the Marvel movies. No, you're not. A lot of people. No, like, you're not. A lot of people are like that. Whereas, like, they're like they want to be all uppity and talking about man. I, I, ain't, I ain't tired of Marvel. Oh man, you put out too many of them. But others have been foaming at the mouth already for another Marvel people movie. People ready. Wait till, those, wait till Spider Man. Wait till Shane. Chico. We need <laughs> saw a trip, man. People are foaming at the mouth for just a trailer of Spider Man. Man. No way home. I want the trailer. <laughs> like, so I these numbers are literally crazy. It's honestly to see uh the tomato meter be so high on the critic side for a Marvel movie is also crazy to me. For real. Like usually people are just like, oh well this is the same, another part of Disney formula. And I'm just like, yeah, formulas are great. It's how we get math, it's how you get physics. <laughs> Son, what do you think? <laughs> Albert Einstein just like made up shit and like, I don't know. Put some shit in the bomb and, and blow it up. Whatever, dog. Like, I don't know. No. Formulas. That's what I've been saying. Anyway. <laughs> science. <laughs> I remember when this group was about science. Anyway. Um, but no, so that's that's what the people thought. What did y'all think at home? Tell us. Let us know in the comments. We out. Peace. Family. <laughs> I thought we were done with that. We are done with it. Here's what's gonna happen. Natasha, don't slouch. I'm not slouching. You're going to get the back hunch. Mm, listen to your mother. Oh my God, this- up, up, All right, enough, all of you. I didn't say anything, that's not fair. Thank you for listening to another Movie Club podcast, Production 1200's premiere podcast. If you have suggestions for movies you want us to see, leave them in the comments below. Check out the short films we have on the page and look forward to what we're making next. If you want more from us or other ways to reach us, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all production 1200. If you're listening to us on iTunes, please give us a five-star rate and review. Trust me, 
is what your grandma would have wanted. And if you listen to us on other podcast platforms, do the same if you're able to do those things. It's Trady Price signing off. Hear you next time.